Good evening and welcome to RFL. I'm Andrew Whitman in tonight for Richard French and we start with Hillary Clinton under oath on Capitol Hill testifying before the Benghazi committee. We get the latest now and the la latest update from Capitol Hill from ABC's Kenneth Moten. Good evening, Kenneth. Good evening. Intense moments here on Capitol Hill today, but Hillary Clinton has held her ground facing her critics who are questioning whether she did enough to protect those Americans in Benghazi. Hillary Clinton playing defense on Capitol Hill. I clearly said that it was an attack. Calling it an attack is like saying the sky's blue. Of course it was an attack. There, there were testy exchanges between the former Benghazi Secretary of State and this Republican-led House Select Committee on Benghazi. Even the members on this bipartisan panel went at it. You, you need to make sure the entire record is yeah, correct, and Mr. That's what, and that's exactly what I want to do. Well, then go and ahead. I'm about to tell you. Clinton is under fire again about her actions before, during, and after the 2012 attack on a U.S. diplomatic post in Benghazi. Four Americans, including U.S. Ambassador Chris Stevens, were killed. One of the horrors of the hours after the attack was our failure to be able to find where the ambassador was. At issue throughout the day, emails Stevens sent to the State Department asking for additional security before the attacks. And why Clinton's friend, Sid Blumenthal, had her private email address, while Stevens did not. Madam Secretary, he had unfettered access to you. I don't know what this line of questioning does to help us get to the bottom of the deaths of four Americans. This 12-member committee is expected to write a final report on the Benghazi attacks sometime over the next year and before the presidential election in 2016. But the Republicans may be doing it without the five Democrats on the panel who have threatened to walk away fed up with what they've called partisan politics. Reporting live here on Capitol Hill, Kenneth Moten, ABC News. Now back to you. Kenneth, thank you very much. And to put the politics of all this in perspective, a new CNN poll shows that nearly three quarters of the people asked say they believe this committee is politically motivated. Let's get reaction now from our panel. Richard Brodsky is here as a former Democratic New York State Assemblyman, now a senior fellow at Demos and a professor at NYU. Welcome. Dominic Carter is here, as always, political journalist and author. And Richard St. Paul is joining us tonight, Republican strategist and former vice chair for the National Black Republican Association. We'll focus in on Hillary's performance in just a second, but I want to start with the Republicans because there was a, a serious risk going into today's hearing of an overreach, that perhaps they would come across as being overly partisan, overly aggressive. And Richard, I, I'm going to go out on a limb and guess you don't think that they crossed a line today. No, listen, I think there was a lot of political hype going into this. I think when uh, you know uh, Congressman McCarthy talked about if it wasn't for uh, him, uh, then you know this Benghazi, you know, Hillary wouldn't uh, would be hiring the polls, and, and he helped kind of the strategy with, with Hillary. And I think from that point going forward, it was seen as being politicized. And that was very unfortunate because what happened here is a, is a tragedy, and we still have not got to the bottom of this. I mean, there's only been one arrest for a person involved in, in, in the, the killing of the uh, ambassador. Well, did, did anybody and hear anything new that came out in the testimony today that we didn't know about the Benghazi attacks yes. already? Sidney Blumenthal emailed Hillary Clinton. Heads must roll. She, <laughs> she received emails. Are you kidding me? The, the, you guys, you, look, there's a case to be made that I Hillary did. didn't do the right thing in Benghazi, that she made mistakes. You could make that case. Someone with a brain in his head in your party has to decide to make that case. It wasn't unfortunate that Kevin McCarthy said that. He told the truth. Richard Hanna, congressman from New York, Republican, told the truth. The American people have heard the truth. And then you watch her today. She looked like a president. This has helped her. It's I, a good I, thing. I don't think, look, I think there is a case to be made. And what happened here is, is serious. As I said, only one arrest has been made. We haven't heard anything about anybody else being arrested for what happened in Libya. Why does Cindy Blumenthal have Hillary, more contact than the ambassador of Libya to the Secretary of State? That's very unfortunate. He didn't have more contact. He had her email address. I mean, and, you, and you believe that your position about her was advanced? By did we not learn that Hillary Clinton did not know about his request for extra security? He didn't, she didn't know about any we, of the 800 requests. 
That's not what the secretary and, does. And that, what, what was the secretary doing? You're manufacturing something. What, what does the secretary do? She, the, she employs people who make these decisions. That they, they made the wrong decisions. They should be held accountable. She needs to take, she oh, needs to take accountable because she felt it's the buck stops at her table. We're watching live images as the hearing is about to resume. That's Hillary Clinton. We saw her embracing both Nita Lowy and Elliot o Engel. Oh, the committee is wrapping up, I'm being told, after a very long day of testimony. Now, Dominic, if, if Republicans didn't advance their position on this, if they didn't bring to light anything new about Benghazi. I likened it to a, a, a baseball series where the team in second place splits the series. Like, if, if they don't win outright in something like this, don't they, aren't they hurt in the long run because they didn't make any dents on Hillary Clinton? Well, maybe we can make an analogy with another example because in this case, in this scenario that's wrapping up at this hour, when they had all day long to question the second, former Secretary of State, they have come away with absolutely nothing. This appears to be partisan politics, and this is going to help the Hillary, Clint Hillary Clinton campaign for president. They, here's what they're go they wanted this, their golden opportunity. I, they what, got it, and what's changed? And, and what their last opportunity, because they're not going to be able to call Hillary next year while she's running and, for president. And that, I, hence, it, that's look, the problem. The problem is, as serious as Benghazi is, and as serious as the violation of having uh, top secret uh, emails on her personal server, that may be now taboo in a debate uh, because the American people have so heard so much about it without any resolve. It sounds like you're making the point that it was a swing and a miss for Republicans today. It, well, I'm not, of course. I mean, I've, I've got the baseball. Not, I've got the baseball metaphors look, going. I, 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 I'm I, not I, oblivious I, to what's happening. I, I it's called a lot of hearings when I was chairing committees of the legislature. I issued subpoenas. There are rules, whatever the subject matter is. Don't oversell your evidence. These guys claim they had smoking guns. They had nothing. Don't change the subject. If you call a hearing on one subject, Benghazi, don't meander off into emails. Stick with what you have. Don't badger. I don't look like a prosecutor. And these guys look like prosecutors. This was You're giving them a lot more credit. They didn't look like prosecutors. They looked like well, amateurs. That may, amateur prosecutors. That, okay. that, 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 this is going to do for Hillary. This is the second shoe after the debate. She was in some political trouble, image-wise. Not anymore. She comes across looking president. Look, I, I, I happen to be a Hillary supporter. Okay. But you've got to have some objective ability to look at the weaknesses and strengths of your candidates. Over the last two weeks, her debate performance and her performance today have immeasurably strengthened her with people who aren't Hillary lovers or Hillary I give too much. You're giving too much credit to Hillary today. I think it really was the Republicans and their issue, and the issue was too publicized, politicized. And then when you had the Democrats fighting with the Republicans there, that politicized us even more, and the message got lost. What happened in Benghazi, and how do we arrest those people responsible for it? Uh, Benghazi. How do we make sure a Benghazi situation never happens? And that's what the message, that's what was lost But today. since, as we all agreed, we didn't really learn that much more about what happened in Benghazi or how to prevent another Benghazi from happening, let's focus on Hillary's performance specifically. This side of the table seems to think that she had a very presidential performance on Capitol Hill today. Richard St. Paul, how do you think Hillary performed? I, I, I think she performed fine. I, I don't, I think the Republicans had a job to do and their performance was lacking. I, I, I wouldn't give any extra credit to Hillary. I mean, she's a seasoned statesperson, so she performed like she's supposed to. And if it's if let's say being generous from from your takes earlier, let's say it was an even performance that Hillary and the Republicans had about the same quality of day. I know you think that Hillary did better than the Republicans mm -hmm. did, but even if they just came out even, isn't that a victory for Hillary Clinton? They didn't come out even. She did better. Right. Then the right. Your question is inappropriate. It's media bias against Hillary. <laughs> the, 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 the Republicans have swung and missed so often. She killed Vince Foster. She oh, white, my white, 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 We're going back to the 90s. We've, that, we've heard that but on the set. But that's the point. You, the, you make these wild accusations about her. A woman who is capable of being criticized, who has flaws, who has done things that aren't as good as they should have been, but also has terrific abilities and has a t and things she can point to. If you'd only focus on the real instead of the phony, you might make a dent. Hey, You're going to lose this race hands down. Hillary Clinton has issues within her own Democratic Party. She has an issue with liberals. 50% of people polled don't trust Hillary Clinton. I mean, I think that's very serious. Bernie Sanders is leading, is leading her, and I think, in Iowa. So, I mean, you know, she has her own issues. Come on. Well, well Andrew, let me put it this way. If, if you're one of the Americans that may not be a fan of Hillary Clinton, mm -hmm. and you feel that there's some smoke as it relates to Benghazi, you believe that somehow the Secretary of State did something wrong, nothing that occurred today would play into that theory.
absolutely nothing. All this did was strengthen her hand. First, she had strong debate. Then on the eve of Benghazi testimony, Biden says no run. And then she hits a grand slam today. The Democratic side of the presidential race is, is almost completely over. The only question is, how well will Sanders do? He's not going to win the nomination. I almost will say it's going to be a coronation now for Hillary Clinton going towards the nomination. Do you think she did anything to arrest the image that some people have of her, that she's Hillary above all else, only focused on her own political benefit and, and would, you know, would construct to, a cover-up or whatever would cover her tracks? people are persuadable. And there's a whole bunch of people who are unpersuadable because they hate her. And there's a whole bunch of people who are unpersuadable because they like her. If you're looking at the people in the middle who uh, will take a fair-minded approach to this, she helped herself. One other aspect to all of this that I thought was interesting, and this started from the opening statements, Hillary really pivoted during her opening statement to a, almost a foreign policy speech. She really gave a, a fairly complete dynamic or understanding from her perspective of what she thinks American foreign policy should be in hot spots like Libya or when crises like this one emerge. Uh, Richard St. Paul, from the other side of the aisle, do you think that she actually improved her foreign policy chops or showed off those chops to the American people today? Look, uh, there's no doubt about it. This was a test of her as a presidential candidate also to a certain extent. And, and let's face it, this is not her first uh, rodeo. This is several times she's been talking about Benghazi. So she was more than prepared for, for this. Um, and look, she does have the experience. Uh, she's you know, been involved in, in politics since uh, the 70s. Which we, we all know, but it felt, Richard, where she like, where like she today, was prosecuting Nixon. Like today was a pitch that was right down the middle of the strike zone for her. I mean, she was able to, to really get into the foreign policy and remind people, hey, I was Secretary uh, look, of State. Look, she had a strategy for how to testify. You don't, what you don't want to do with clowns like these guys is play on their level. So she sat down there and became presidential, professorial, in, intellectual, control, pleasant. And the, the visual, this is a television medium, the visual contrast between the, her trying to answer questions and these guys hurling insane accusations. Uh, the, you know, you noose, you're getting emails from a friend. That's all you got? That's all you got? She did very well. Dominic, did she get a bounce in the polls as a result of today? Absolutely. No doubt about it. Richard Brodsky, a did double she get a bump? Dig, a double-digit bounce, Does perhaps. she get a bump in the polls? Um, sure, uh, but that's part of a trend. Um, she, it just continues the, the groundwork she's laid. Richard St. Paul, does she get a bump? I hate to speculate on that. That's a yes. That's a yes. For, that's, that's a yes. yes. The, 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 yes. Smile, the smile, the smile that. says yes. <laughs> that's that's a, a yes. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> How about now? I don't know. All right. <laughs> Mo moving on, the majority of the right-wing Freedom Caucus is now backing Paul Ryan for Speaker of the House. If he gets in, will gridlock in Washington be even worse than it's been under John Boehner? We'll get into that next.